It looks like the Lakers have a glaring weakness. It's their rim protection. Last season, they had Dwight Howard and JaVale McGee. This year, they were replaced by Marc Gasol and Montrez Harrell. And while it's definitely an upgrade on the offensive end, it may be the opposite on defense. What both Dwight and JaVale provided last season was size and athleticism. Both of these guys were big enough to be a deterrent at the rim, and their athleticism helped them be able to block shots. But they were also quick enough that if they were brought out to the perimeter, they could keep their man in front of them, at least until someone who was a more suitable matchup could rotate over. Marc Gasol is definitely big, but athletic? If there ever was a time he was athletic, that time has long gone. He does still have his size, so if he's around the paint area, he can still disrupt shots. The problem is when he's outside the paint, chasing guys around the perimeter, especially when opposing teams play small lineups. He's not able to keep up with quicker guys, and he often has to resort to fouling to disrupt plays. Montrez Harrell is a decent athlete, and he definitely has the quickness, but he is undersized for a big. We saw how he got killed by Jokic in the playoffs last season, and he continues to struggle defending true big men. He's not really a deterrent at the rim, and many players can just shoot over him. The Lakers do have an open roster spot that they can use to sign a free agent. Right now their best options with big men in the free agent market are probably Jan Mahimi and Dwayne Dedman. But Rob Polinka is probably waiting to see if anybody becomes available in the buyout market. The player they end up getting will most likely not get a lot of playing time and may even sit many games. Similar to Dwight and JaVale, who didn't play many games during the playoffs and were only on the court for certain matchups. What the Lakers had last year was options. They could switch up their style to match up with anybody. This season, they definitely have options on the offensive end. Mark Gasol and Montrezl Harrell open up all sorts of possibilities that were not there last season. But they are giving up a lot on defense. Obviously, the Lakers have one important player that is big, athletic, and can protect the paint. Anthony Davis. He is one of the most versatile defenders we have ever seen. When it comes down to it, the Lakers are best when AD is playing center, but they need to preserve him for the playoffs. Vogel will most likely go to their quote-unquote small lineup with AD at the 5 at that time. But until then, they need someone to be able to play the center position that can protect the rim as well. I prefer that we get an athletic big to play alongside AD to sure up our paint defense. But if they don't end up getting that athletic big, it's not the end of the world. Mark and Trez still allow AD to play the four and take the load off him a bit. Their defensive woes may lead to a few regular season losses here and there, but the playoffs is where it really matters. As constructed, the Lakers still have enough to compete for a championship.